This video will be about what I have in my pockets. I made a video what I have in my bag, what I wear. This will be, believe it or not, a longer video than the one which was about my contents of my bag, because my pockets contain a lot more than my bag. Okay, um, just to show you, I also attached these things to my sides because that's another setup how I often do. Uh, when I stay somewhere, I usually don't carry a bag with me. My bag would be rolled up and in my pocket, usually this pocket. Um, then I will have hammock with me because I will often use it to do some work in some park or forest or wherever and uh, I will lay down in my hammock and have a good day and will be able to work in my tablet and so on. And I almost always have my water with me, depending on the climate, but usually it's important. Uh, how it works is it goes through the loop which is meant for the belt. It goes through this big button and a few times around the button. So it's pretty easy to undo it. No high tech, no metal parts, very simple, nothing to break. Uh, so that's my water. I sometimes have it in my bag if I have the bag, if not I have it here inside. This one just tied on the same loop, just the other side. My hammock. Now, all the pocket contents. The big pocket on my belly is for my iPad. The iPad which I use I don't say it's always, but this far my idea of choosing iPad is I will buy a used iPad on eBay, which would be the oldest of all the iPad Air. I need iPad Air. I need thin and light, yeah? So iPad Air and the oldest model which still runs a system which is good enough for my work. <laughs> so that's the idea about iPad. I don't use any cases for iPad because this is my case. It is very handy, very easy to use and because of that I don't usually leave this somewhere around where it could fall or break or whatever. It is always on my belly. Well, almost always. If I don't wear this thing in a hostel, I might just go with my lounge trousers and t-shirt. Then it's a bit different story. But normally it's always on my belly. And uh, believe it or not, your belly is the safest place for brittle electronic device. Because we humans are made to kind of protect our belly. <laughs> Uh, it, it never gets hit here, normally. Uh, you can hit your shoulder against somewhere, or, or you can hit your leg against some, something. You never hit your belly against something. So this place is a very safe place. So that's why no case. <clears throat> that's one thing. Then there is a separate pocket. By the way, I should mention probably what is this whole crazy contraption? Uh, these overalls, should I call them? I made myself all by hand. No sewing machine even. Uh, and I just used old jeans, which were, I think, two, two sizes too big for me. So it's good for having many pockets. It's good if you have more space. And then I had a shirt, a cotton shirt. It had long sleeves, which I just took scissors and cut off. And I cut off also here, so it's easier to warm, war, uh, wear, and uh, it doesn't get so hot, and it doesn't get in a view when I have a t-shirt on top of it. By the way, it is possible to take the same, this t-shirt, and put on top of it. Okay, now here I have one more pocket for a 
thing which is called selfie stick and uh, tripod, two things in one. Uh, this is for the phone. Uh, this is a remote control. This is a good thing. It's very light and uh, very compact when you fold it, but you can stretch it into quite a long selfie stick. And this one is a tripod. I broke it. I need to do something. Uh, this is the only thing which was not quality construction. It easily broke. I won't say which company made it. <laughs> they will be ashamed of this video otherwise. But basically, uh, I'll have to replace it, but this is how it was. And it is, I, I used it for a lot of things. I think I might made another video, uh, I might make another video for electronic stuff. Uh, lots to talk about. Let's just go through it quickly without too much details. So, this is how small it is. Now, here on this side, I have a pocket in my almost armpit. Uh, and these two pockets are the big pockets. I can put in a lot of stuff in it. So, here, this is a very good thing. Uh, I bought it, I think, in a Lidl in Belgium when I was... Um, it's a charger and it's a power bank at the same time. You don't need two separate devices and two separate boxes for, for this thing. It's very handy. Here you have an American plug. Here you have an Irish, UK, Ugandan, blah, blah, blah plug. And I have somewhere here. Here I have a European plug. plug. Just put this on and then you got a European plug. And they don't take much space and they're very light. And here I have two USB ports. So, and two USB for, uh, charger cables. One for my tablet, one for my phone, so I can charge them simultaneously. And uh, one good thing is that when it is in my pocket, what I do is, I keep it like this, I roll one of them and put inside and then I close and I have one, this wire, out of my pocket and then I will take my phone and I can charge it. And it, it can, it is very versatile actually. <laughs> Uh, I can keep it in my pocket, so while walking somewhere it will be charging. I can use it, I can be taking pictures, I can be um, checking map, I can be doing all kinds of things and it is still charging while I walk around. Uh, I like this setup. And, and even when my poncho is over everything, the wire is long enough, so I have my poncho closed until here, so my wire is out. And if I wanted, I could even feed this through my arm of my poncho and have it like here, but then I would have trouble to put it in my pocket. <laughs> so, that's another setup which I really like and which is really handy. I can charge my phone, I can charge my tablet simultaneously in the hostel or I can charge my phone on the go while using the phone. So that's my charging. Uh, I already showed my phone. It lives in a separate pocket here and uh, pretty much every pocket which I made has a zipper on it because I want to feel safe that I can roll around and not lose anything. The only two pockets without zippers are here, and I don't have anything valuable in them. So.
so everything is with zippers. So that's my phone. So we covered these. Now here, this pocket. What I have. Th this is my big kind of boot. <laughs> here I have. It's just a, a bag for fruit. I can use it sometimes. I have some little bit extra international cash. Uh, just to have another place where I have some cash, not big amounts. By the way, speaking about cash, I have three places in my clothing where you would least expect it, where I have sewn in a packet which was made of cash, then I put uh, cardboard like folded around the cache and then packed it with packing tape so it's completely waterproof and then such packet I sewed in my clothes in three different places where you would least expect it and in different pieces of clothing so even like to say the least it is very very unlikely that I would lose all my money, <laughs> whatever happens. <laughs> I will still have enough money to fly back home, if not more. Okay, let's go further. This guy, you already saw it, that's for charging. Then I have some random, random pieces of string, which always good is good to have. Um, it's not super important, I don't use them every day, but it's more than once when I have been very happy that I have them, when I need to tie something to something. Uh, and they don't uh, take a lot of space. They're very strong, but they don't take a lot of space, and I never regret I carry them with me. Then here, uh, I could skip this, but I still have it with me just as a backup. If my power bank would fail, I could still charge things from this. It's a USB European charger. What I like about this thing, it is very flat, so it doesn't take much space in my pocket and it's very light. So that's the reason why I'm carrying it with me, although normally I wouldn't want anything which is not necessary. Here is my small light uh, combination lock, padlock for um, very often in hostels you can get uh, lockers which you can use if you have your own padlock. So this is handy to have. Well, this is funny thing. It shouldn't be there. I just forgot to return my locker key in one hostel. And I still carry it around when I get next to the same city where I was. I will return it to them. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be 10 years <laughs> when it happens. Okay, let's go further. Here is one of the pockets, one of the two pockets which don't have zippers. Uh, I might actually change angle little bit so you can see a bit better. So this will be better for seeing what's going on there. So these are on the two only pockets which I don't have zippers for. So I don't have anything of value there and also this one might be a little bit off value but it's not slipping out so it's kind of okay. This is just these are earphones uh, and this one is adapter, lightning cable which goes into iPhone and three and a half millimeter ear earphone plug, <laughs> earphone plug <laughs> and uh, here it's a possibility to charge from the charging cable. Um, I find it's very good because quite often your 
talking on uh, talking with somebody on a video call or something and you need both earphones and charging so this thing is very handy that's another here is just a face mask for all the covid needs whatever you might call it uh, here was phone i showed you already then here is another pocket with a zipper this is a dental floss if you have good teeth which never collect any pieces of food between the teeth you might skip it i better have it with me here i have my keys and here i have my swiss knife uh, the knife is a bit specific in a way that I shortened it. Europeans allow only four, no, sorry, six centimeters long blades with you. And this was a slightly bit more. So I shortened it slightly. And now it fits under the inside of what's allowed in regulations. Also, I cut off a corkscrew. I'm not sure how serious is it, but I was once stopped in the UK in one of the London airports, which they said that the UK doesn't allow corkscrews. I didn't try to argue and check the laws, but since I don't really use corkscrews, so I just cut it off and now I don't have any problems with airport securities. Here I have coin for trolleys for the supermarkets not important but i have it then on the back side <coughs> i have the original pockets but i have made these zippers for it on this side i always carry my wallet and the idea with wallet is that the i carry something which people would reasonably expect a local to carry in it. I have, uh, I have one of my cards, bank cards. I have uh, uh, cards for Metro in Lisbon, in Porto, in Dublin, <laughs> and so on. Yeah. I have a little bit of cash, a reasonable amount. Uh, I have never run into these problems, but theoretically, if I would get robbed, people would see it and it would seem realistic for them. It's not a lot, but it's something. I have coins, I have paper money, I have some bus schedules, maybe something, just usual stuff, which you would expect in the boat. Now, on this side, this is a little bit more messy, but very important thing. Here I have plastic bags, which I use for shopping. Let's say if I bring a good amount of food, uh, I'll use these for, for getting them to my hostel room. I try to usually carry uh, sometimes I also carry some smaller bags because when I eat in somewhere in a park and there is no bin for litter I just use one of the bags put all the litter in it and whenever I get to the garbage bin I throw it out and here I have a small plastic bag with toilet paper uh, I always get some, well, this is pretty much enough. It's not a huge amount, it could be more, but it's still enough. I just take it off the roll without even, uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain. I just take it off the roll. I basically take the roll out from the inside of it and this is what's left and I fold it 
it's very important to put it in this kind of bag. Not so much about uh, worrying about grain, although it's important as well. You don't want it to get wet. But uh, for abrasion, this thing will go forever. If you use the same paper in the pocket, especially in the hot weather, without the plastic, it will rub into porridge. <laughs> so that's another thing. So nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Let's go lower. Here I had two pockets uh, on top of each other. Let's start with the top one. That's the one which you see here. I open it. Here I have another mask just in case. Sometimes some airlines refuse to let you in with self-made masks. So this is a surgical mask for those who are too nervous. They want me to have a surgical mask. I have it. Here I have a hand sanitizing wipes. Wipes are a very useful thing to have. Uh, you can clean many things, not just your hands, but literally anything you can clean with it. And you can clean even greasy stuff off your, off your hands or off anything with these things. Also, these are antibacterial. Especially when you are afraid of COVID or anything else and you want to keep everything clean, uh, that's an easy way how to do it. Uh, if you don't get a possibility to shower, I never had it really, but if I would have it, I could use this as a shower. I would need more of them, but I could, I could shower with these wipes, the wet wipes. Yeah? And uh, I eat a lot of fruit and uh, often it is tricky to buy and eat fruits in some city park or somewhere, it's tricky to wash it. Sometimes you can find water and then it's easy and I try to do it whenever I can, but sometimes it's not that easy, especially in drier climates where you don't have water spigots in every corner. Then I use these things. I just take one wipe and I clean each apple or peach or wherever and then I eat it straight away until it's still clean. So I don't get any diarrhea in the bus <laughs> when I'm going further. So that's it. Uh, I could put more stuff in this pocket, but I don't like it to be too big. I keep it flat. Then the second pocket, the idea what I did here is I sewed this pocket on top of my jeans but then I cut a slit in my jeans here and I saw another piece of jeans under my pants, uh, uh, under the jeans fabric, you can see, yeah? And then I have another pocket. What I have here, this is an important thing. That's my passport. I use this thing for keeping it safe against abrasion and against moisture. If it's raining or something, it's always good. Never had problem with it. With it. And here I have a miscellaneous things. Uh, oh, I, saw, uh, I saw such a folder. And I have a lot of different stuff here. Basically everything which doesn't want to fit <laughs> anywhere else. All kinds of papers, all kinds of... Um, uh, here I have a, a notebook and with it I have a pencil. Pencil is never a problem in airplanes, not like a ball pen. And it's quite often when I can use this thing for communicating. Let, let, let's say people are asking something and I don't know their language, they don't know my languages. And uh, I can just uh, draw things here. I can ask them to write their phone number. I can ask questions, I don't know, let, let's say if, if they have some uh, currency which is... Uh, let, let's say uh, it, it, it won't happen in UK, but let's say if it would be UK and I wouldn't speak English, I would 
say, and somebody says uh, that something costs 50 pounds, let's say, then I will draw pound sign 50. Pound is 50. And then I can ask how much is it in euros, and then I draw euro sign is question mark, and then I show it. Ah, and then they can write whatever it is, 77 or whatever. Uh, so that's again a useful thing. And uh, it's also good for writing down things which you want, kind of passwords or other things in your own coded way, <laughs> so nobody else can uncode it. Um, uh, write down things which you want in case if your phone dies or gets stolen or whatever. So that's that's a good thing as well. And uh, then I have in here smaller kind of a wallet or I don't know how to call it uh, for some other credit cards and some other cash. It's just another place where I can keep cash. I don't have a lot of it here, but again some extra place which is not my wallet and it's not really needed but this far i have carried with me the old school map as well just in case <laughs> i have used it for just uh, looking on a bigger I have a bigger screen here than in my tablet, but other than that, I could skip it. But still, I carry it with me and we'll see. Maybe one day I will skip it, but I feel it's kind of okay and good to have it with me. That's it for this side then. <clears throat> now, this side. Uh, here, I have one bigger pocket here and one smaller pocket on top of it. Let's start with the smaller one. Here I have a toothbrush with this thing, very handy. It was a little bit too long for my pocket, so I shortened it. So now it fits in. I have a spoon. Oh, made myself out of wood with a knife. <laughs> but um, it's small, it's light. It's nice wood, uh, but it's very handy uh, when I have my... I, I quite often buy some canned food and I can eat it outside of the hostel. I can eat it in a park or wherever. Then I have my spoon very handy with me. Then um, a thing which is not really a necessity but because of all the COVID problems which we had and still have, I bought also, I think it was in Croatia where I bought it, um, a thermometer to measure my temperature. Because maybe it's not so much anymore and won't be anymore, so I can skip this thing. But it was quite often when people were checking temperatures before you board a train, before you board a plane, and so on. And if there is a plane, I want to know that my temperature is okay. Because it, it can be whatever, not COVID necessarily, and my temperature could be higher. And if I can check it, at first I know that I'm okay, I can go. And if, you, if I see that I'm not okay, then I have time to do whatever I can do to sort the problem, <laughs> whatever the problem is. But at least I have a way of measuring what my temperature is. Never really needed. No, a few times I did need. Because when I did catch COVID, uh, it was good to see that I'm okay again. Okay, here, that's a whole bag of things. <laughs> I bought uh, mathematical instruments for school people. <laughs> Here I have lots of everything. A small box 
with all kinds of small things which I don't want to float around my pockets. I like things I, I like things to be organized in such a way that each thing has its own place. So what I have here, <clears throat> some plasters, just in case I cut myself. Never needed them, hopefully never will, but good to have them. I have some extra uh, material for sewing things. It actually came from this pocket. Actually, yeah, I should show you. Um, the tablet rubs quite easily holes here. I already repaired this one. Not yet this one. And have I repaired it? It was a bit foolish. I didn't take any material for sewing with me before. Um, I need actually a bit bigger than this one. But what I did, I had this hole forming already and I was far away. <laughs> so... I, of course, I could buy some clothing or whatever somewhere, but what I did, I just teared off this pocket, which usually jeans have, which I find is no use. So, and I used part of it for repairing this thing, and part of it I put in here just for being able to repair some other things. Like here, I got one, <laughs> I haven't repaired it yet. So, what else I have here? Some safety pins, quite often useful uh, for uh, making a wall out of my uh, poncho or temporary repair. If I tear something somewhere, I could temporarily repair it on a go and then sew it when I have time for it. Then I have these kind of interesting things. I wonder if you can see. Yeah, it's a bit... Okay, let's keep them for later. Because uh, otherwise it will be too big mess. So, again, a bunch of safety pins. More. Because if I need to repair a big tear somewhere, I need a lot of them. And they're not that heavy and bulky, so I just take a lot of them. Then I have two colors of uh, thread for sewing and here in this one I don't know if you can see it see it I have a good space where I can put my big needle in, in it and this is a huge needle it's very good it's from my old sailing days uh, it's for sail repair. Very good. Very sharp, triangle shape end, which digs in in the fabric very, very easily. And very big eye. I can put the thread in this eye in a dark situation in a bus which is shaking around easily because it's a big eye. And uh, it, I found it it's very... It, it is very handy to keep it here, just inside of this thing. And it's safe, it doesn't fall out, and I, I, I can't cut myself and poke myself with it. So, then I have a thermometer and a hygrometer. Is it called a hygrometer, yeah? Uh, the one which shows moisture in the air. So, not really necessary, but I found it good to observe what kind of temperature and hum humidity I feel comfortable in with what kind of clothing and so on. So it's small one. It's made for violin, uh, for violins uh, to keep it in this violin case to, 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 to see what's going on. Uh, very small, very handy and actually very cheap. <laughs> Then, what else I have here? I have quite a few... Uh, I don't even know how to call them. What are they called? It's something almost like clothes pins. Uh, I will show you in just a moment. Things like this. I hope you can see them, yeah? Uh, it's a hook on one side. 
and such a thing ah, okay such a thing on the other side and it clasps quite strongly so i can uh, i can use this for fixing many things for putting up a wall from my poncho uh, stitching together poncho with my fleece and making even bigger wall and so on and the same goes for these things uh, again don't know what they are called uh, you can get them in stationery shops again like this yeah and i have put such lanyard to them uh, with a loop at the end let me show you like this yeah and i often use it let's say i need to tie my uh, my poncho to a bunk bed so that I can make a wall I can easily feed this one through the loop and this way it can fix to the bed and here I can clasp in the poncho or a thousand other uses how they can be used so, what else do I have here? Uh, just a rubber band. Never really used it, but I thought it might come in handy one day. Who knows? Maybe it will. Here, these kind of hooks. Uh, a hook with a screw on the end. So, I can screw it in a wood any kind of wooden surface where I wouldn't spoil the... I try to find places where it wouldn't look bad after I leave. But I can screw it on and use it for tying things. <coughs> then I have this thing. Uh, just in case I need to take out my SIM card of my phone, I can use it doesn't take much space so no problem to carry it with me this thing is for my internet banking I couldn't say I like it but I just need it for my work and then I have three earplugs why three? I have only two ears yes I have only two ears but in case if I lose one I still have a usable set of earplugs and I have a ruler, just in case I need to measure something. I have ruler in my tablet as well. But, yeah, maybe I could skip it, but I still carry it with me. Who knows? Might come in handy one day. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay. The last thing. Here, the bigger pocket. This one. That's a bit specific to me, maybe not everybody will want to do the same, but I'll just be honest and show whatever I have with me. This is the honest situation, I, I, I haven't just invented it for this video. Everything which I show is what I have when I travel, real life. Here I made a special pocket for my Bible. Uh, that's normally I carry every book which I have I carry in my tablet I don't carry paper books with me I can read a lot I have a lot of books but all of them they are in tablet with this one exception I read Bible every day and it is important enough for me so that I sacrificed one pocket just for this and uh, what I did was I took my old Bible and I divided the whole big book into these small places, small, I don't know how you call them even. Uh, everybody who knows about book binding know that each book consists of small packets. And I divided each packet separately, glued the paper on it so it doesn't get spoiled. And now I carry a selection of pieces from Old Testament and New Testament with me on each trip. 
and uh, after each trip I, s I change which sections I carry for the next trip but I have quite a, gu uh, uh, qu uh, quite a few with me on each trip so I can read Bible on, on, a, on a paper not just on a tablet uh, might skip it and use it only on tablet I have done it, I do it but I still enjoy having it on paper with me. It's important enough for me to sacrifice one pocket for that. Okay, I think it was five times longer than I thought it will be, but yeah, I warned you, I have a lot of stuff in my pockets. <laughs> it weighs two and a half kilograms in total, about two pounds, uh, about five pounds. It's not too much if compared to the big suitcases people carry around. But that's all I need when I go somewhere. Have a good day.